Hello, this is Craig, and I wanted to show you this morphing problem in Unity. Now, the reason that I never took this approach before is because I had heard in the documentation Unity doesn't guarantee that the vertex order is going to be the same. Uh, evidently, it also doesn't guarantee that the vertex count is going to be the same. So, just uh, take a look here. The older model worked fine. The smaller model worked fine. This model I created, uh, and it doesn't work at all. So let's go over to Blender. Here's Blender. Here's the model. Just a very basic Space Marine sort of person. Um, nothing, nothing special in any way, right? Uh, so this is what he looks like, and then I've got a bunch of shape keys, so he can make him various shapes. Um, so no problems, right? The, the shape keys don't change the number of vertices, they just move the vertices around. But, this is what I end up with, a mess. So I thought, well, maybe they're being imported in the wrong order, because Unity said they might. But they're not. In fact, it's much weirder than that. So, here, one of my models, 782 verts. Here, one of my models, 813 verts. Wait, they have a different number of verts? How is that possible? Shape keys don't change the number of vertices in the model. Unity must be either creating or deleting vertices when it imports these models. The weirdest thing is that the bulkier models uh, have more vertices than the compact models. So the fat guy has 813, while the short guy has 765. That doesn't make any sense either, because it's not like the short guy has less vertices. I just moved them horizontally closer to, I mean, vertically closer together. Um, I thought maybe there was an import setting. Like, I turned off Optimize Mesh, because I figured that might be doing it. Uh, but that didn't help. There's something going on here where it just randomly either creates or destroys vertices, and I'm not sure which. But... This character has 956 triangles. 956. 956. 956. 956. So wait. They have a different number of vertices, but the same number of triangles. That's kind of weird. However, it does mean that I might be able to use the triangles to map the two vertices across to each other. So that's what I'm going to try next. But just so you know, this is what I expected to happen when I originally created it. And I was shocked this is not what happened. So it did happen. As expected, I'll try and figure out a way around it. 